take care of yourself, breathe fully, have a great class. Um, and so as people trickle in, um, let's get started as we do with those to the people in child's pose, please. So child's pose, the easiest way to get into child's pose is to come onto hands and knees, tabletop position, and then slowly bring your forehead to rest, either on the mat or on your palms or on soft fists. And if you happen to have that book next to you and you can bring the floor up to you, definitely use a thick book. Or if you happen to have a block, bring that underneath your forehead. So taking measures to find an easy shape. So easy shape meaning the breath is easy. Welcome everyone as you're coming in, welcome to class. Um, and even if you haven't settled into your child's pose just yet and you're setting up the monitor and doing all the things, start to take deep, full breaths in and out through the body. Okay, so inhaling deep through the nose, all the way down to the belly, expanding the belly. And as you exhale, just a nice gentle breath out, maybe a just soft, gentle fire. <sighs> Moving into the vibrational breath that we love at Yoga to the People. We really encourage that just to see if that changes something for you. Okay. It helps you release just a little bit, and there's so much tension just floating around us, circulating around us at this point. You know, we're all like doing the best that we can. So breathing deeply really helps tap into our parasympathetic nervous system to let us know that everything in this moment is going to be okay. So let's take a breath together. Wherever you are in your breath cycle, exhale slowly, empty out the lungs, SH. Press the breath out and away from your mat. Inhale full and deep in through the nose, all the way to the belly. Feel expansive. Exhale, open the mouth. H A. Ha. In this relative stillness, your child's pose. Start to guide a little bit of movement. The hips, hip side to side. Walk the hands long in front of you if they're not already there. Reach for the short edge, edge of the mat. Come onto your fingertips. Feel your finger, fingers fan wide. A cupping sensation happens in the palms as you lift your wrists, your elbows up, feeling the length of the arms as you pull your hips gently back towards your heels. So we walk your hands over towards the right-hand corner of the mat. So allow yourself to feel sensation arrive along the left side body. Allow your left shoulder to come in line with your right. Press and open across your left side body. Your left ribs start to fan open. They billow out. Take a full breath in. On a full breath out, walk your hands all the way over towards the left-hand corner of the mat. The opportunity to open up the opposite side. You feel your right waistband expand on the inhalation. Walk your right fingers a little further over towards the left. Take a full inhale. Exhale, fingers all the way over towards the top of the mat. Spread your fingers wide. Come into a tabletop position. Stack the shoulders directly above the wrist, hips on top of the knees. And then on an inhale, you look forward up, tilt your chin up towards the sky, tailbone up as you find cow belly falls. Exhale, you find cat, chin towards chest, round the spine, press into your fingertips. Inhale, full breath in, look forward and up as you expand through the front side body. And as you exhale, contract that Base. Hug your navel up and in. Beautiful. Take a full inhale here. Look forward. Look up. Gorgeous. Soft gaze up. Exhale. Soft gaze down and under as you look towards your navel. Hi, Dinah. <laughs> inhale. Full breath in. Look forward. Up. Open up. Exhale. Round the spine. Gorgeous. And so you can continue with some cat cows or if you want to do something different, you can. You can start to find a sort of a wave through the the spine and undulation, slight undulation, or a gentle C-curve as you look back towards each hip over your shoulders, just gently. And then rolling the head, that's a beautiful option. Loosening the sides of the neck and then come back into a tabletop position. Tuck your toes under. Find a full breath in. When you're ready, exhale, downward facing dog. So press into your hands, root into the feet, lift your hips up towards the sky. Upside down V-shape for just a second and then for that beat, then you start to deconstruct it a little bit. So when you deconstruct it, you get to breathe into the backs of your thighs, you breathe into the length of your spine. So you pedal off the feet a little bit. If that feels good, we call this walking the dog. Allow your sit bones just to open up towards the sky. You feel your hip creases connect as they lift your hips up towards the ceiling. And then fan your fingers wider, press into the base of each of your fingers. I love it. And coming 
to some of the specifics of down dog. If you want to continue moving, you're welcome to do that. Look to your hands, hands up about shoulder width distance, and then drop the head heavy. Relax the sides of your neck, front of throat, back of neck. And as you look back towards your feet, place your feet approximately hip width distance. So it's a comfortable six to eight inches, right? And then fan the toes wide. Bring a deep bend in your knees and then let the sit bones reach, float up towards the ceiling. Gather more length in the spine, keeping that length. Take a full inhale here, exhale slowly, start to straighten the legs. Now the legs don't have to lock. You don't want to lock the knees out. Rather, there's always a softness behind the backs of the knees. This allows for some space for the, for the hamstrings. On an inhale, guide your right leg long and back. On an exhale, open up through the right side. So you can bend the right knee, make circles through the right hip, wiggle the toes, all the things. Some of the things, or maybe it's a three-legged dog as you just let your left, the right leg float up. Feel all heavy, the left heel get. Take an inhale here, reach your right leg long and back. Exhale, right toes softly down onto the mat. Down dog, inhale, guide your left leg long. Feel the entirety of your left leg. Exhale, then you get to explore left side. So you don't want to feel this whole, I, you what, this feeling of cranking the hip open, just a rather just gentle opening, like you're opening a really rare book. Right, beautiful, Marika, that's gorgeous. Take a full inhale here, reach your left toes long, 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 exhale, left toes down, down, dog. On an inhale, bend your knees. On an exhale, slowly walk up to the top of the mat, come to your forward fold. At the top of the mat, let your head hang heavy. Let the arm bones get really heavy. Soft creases in the backs of the knees, you can move side to side. Perhaps a little bit more vigorously, more energetically if you have a lot of the energy you want to get out or perhaps the very gentle sort of luxurious way back and forth feeling into the back of the neck tuck your chin slightly in towards chest feel the nape of the neck open you can grab the opposite elbows if that feels good and interlace of the fingers behind your neck is also really good but just notice if the thread of your fingers start to engage if you're using the strength of your hands or your arms just let your finger bones and arm bones get heavy to traction the spine long very nice, Elliot. Take a full inhale. Exhale, release your hands down. Look to your feet, hips with distance. So hips with distance, you can measure two softness between the inner arches of your feet. On an inhale, lengthen into a half lift. So it's a flat back, firm belly sensation. And notice where your hands are. If your hands are on your knees, place them either above or below the knees. Hug your low belly up and in to protect your low back and feel the weight move gently from your heels all the way towards your, the front parts of your feet. Shoulders away from ears. Take an inhale here. Lengthen long through your spine. Exhale, fold forward, forward, bend. Two more times. One breath, one movement. Inhale, lengthen, half lift. Long spine, navel to spine. Exhale, release, and then your next breath guides you into the half lift sensation. As you elongate, exhale, fold. With your knees slightly bent, rise up, extend your mountain pose. Reach your fingers tall towards the ceiling. Fingers suspended in air as you stay rooted in your feet. Spread your toes wide. And you might even shift a little side to side, feeling into your inner, outer heels, big toe mound, pinky toe mound, and all the toes between. Drop slightly on the kneecaps. Feel your quads light up. And then slide your tailbone slightly down and under. Pull your low ribs up and in. And standing tall and run, Maria, soft in your shoulders. Yeah, soft shoulders. Yeah, there you go. Long neck. Take an inhale here, reach up. Maybe you look back ever so slightly. Squeeze your seat, please. Exhale, fold forward, forward bend. Inhale, lengthen into a half lift. Exhale, release forward, fold. Next breath in, rise, extend your mountain pose. Reach up, reach tall, lift up from behind the heart. Send the fingers tall towards the sky. Exhale, fold forward, hinging at the hips. Keep your belly strong as you come down. Inhale, half lift, lengthen. Waistband extends, exhale, release, next breath in. Your breath lifts you into an extended mountain pose. Reach up, reach back, maybe even a little further back. Offer your heart towards the sky. Exhale, fold forward, forward bend. Very nice. Inhale, half lift, elongate. Exhale, fold. Hands down, step your feet back. Pause in upper push-up plank position. So the body is strong. Right, the breath gets full here. As the shoulders come directly on top of the wrists, 
spread your fingers wide, press all the way, all the way up and towards your nail bed, feel your fingers are pressing to the mat. Hug your low belly up and in and feel your heels reach towards the back as the crown of the head reaches in opposition towards the front. Take a full inhale here before you flow, exhale lower halfway, squeeze your elbows in. Inhale, draw your heart forward and up as you untuck your toes, upward facing dog, feel your heart lift, chest open. Exhale, tuck the toes under, send your hips up towards the sky, down dog. Slow breath out, exhale, empty. Let's try the vibrational breath. Inhale, full and deep, in through the nose, to the belly, fill your chest, your throat. Exhale, open the mouth, they say, ah. your next breath in. Guide your right leg up and back. As you exhale, float your right foot through between your hands. Lower your left knee down, untuck your left toes. And then slide your left knee back to your more in the knee thigh area so you're not concentrated directly on the left knee cap. Slide your hips forward and down, breathe into your right hip, your left hip flexor, and stay rooted in the inner right heel. Stack your right knee on top of right ankle. Hips forward and down and start to think of this idea of moving things in towards center lines with scissors, the thighs and front heel towards back knee. And drop the head heavy, breathe into the hips. And slowly you can interlace your fingers on top of your right thigh. And again, the thread of your fingers, notice how much energy is there, really softening to it, but really actively at the same time pressing yourself away so the heart lifts. On an inhale, reach your fingers tall towards the sky as you lengthen out of the waistband. Gorgeous. Take a full inhale here. Exhale, follow your hands down. Step your right foot back. Move through your vinyasa flow. So high to low push up, inhaling into upward facing dog, exhaling back into downward facing dog. And once you arrive back in downward facing dog, pedal out through the feet a little bit, drop the head side to side. Feel the eyes of your elbows start to move in and slightly forward for an external rotation of the upper arm. Bottom to the upper back. Inhale, guide your left leg up and back. As you exhale, float your left foot through between your hands. This time, lower your right knee down, untuck your right toes, and then right knee back a little bit, right big toe mound directly in line with the right knee, and press firmly into the pinky side of your right foot, so the entire foot is engaged. Hips forward and down, drop your chin towards the chest, you can round the spine forward. You can stay here, or you can interlace your fingers on top of your left thigh. Keep your heart lifted and the shoulders broad. Right, the neck long, soft, soft gaze. And then perhaps fingers up towards the ceiling, feeling that mountain pose, energy from your waist all the way up and the, everything below the waist is strong and rooted. Take a full inhale here. Exhale, follow your hands down. Step your left foot back and move through your vinyasa flow. High to low, keeping the belly strong as you lower yourself down and an upward facing dog, feeling the length of your arms as your heart rises. Back and down dog, slow breath out, exhale. Shh. Inhale through the nose, all the way to the belly. Exhale, let it go. Your next breath guides your right leg up and back. As you exhale, knee to nose, chin to chest, round the spine, hover, float, heel to glute. Inhale, lengthen the leg back. Exhale, knee to nose, float your foot all the way through between your hands. Feel your left heel down. On an inhale, reach tall to the sky, warrior one. As you lift up, your heart faces forward in the same direction as the knee. Soften the shoulders, relax the face. Find your feet. Maybe even lift the toes up slightly and feel into the musculature, the structure of your feet, and then lower the toes back down. If you feel a twisting feeling in your back knee, your left knee, take a wider stance. Heel toe your right foot towards the right. Stamp down through the feet, strong like that idea again, that low lunge about scissoring everything in towards midline. So as if you're squeezing your feet in towards one another. Lift tall from behind the heart. Take a full inhale here, sit a little bit lower, reach up, 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 very nice on it. Exhale, hands come down, step back and move through your vinyasa flow. And know at any time, you can change the construction of your flow. You can come down to your knees and move from there. On an inhale, guide your left leg up and back. Exhale, knee to nose, chin to chest, round. 
Inhale, lengthen, reach back. Exhale, knee to nose, and then float your foot all the way through between your hands. This time, feel your right heel down. On an inhale, rise, warrior one. So your left knee stacks on top of the left ankle and the back leg strong and straight. You feel this anchoring sensation start to appear from the outer edge of your left foot and right foot and rise all the way up along the right leg. Right glute squeezes. Gently guide your right hip slightly forward, left hip back. And you'll finish this off by sending your left shoulder back, right shoulder forward, belly up and in. Gorgeous, Doug, take a full inhale here. Sit a little bit deeper, reach up, reach tall. Exhale, follow your hands down. Step back and flow and opportunity to move. One breath, one movement. So you move through warrior one on the right side, warrior one on the left side. If you wanna add one knee to nose or maybe two knee to noses, you're welcome to do that. Really keep firing up the core and understanding that you're using your core strength to move your legs through rather than just momentum. Right? Slow breaths in, slow breaths out. Enjoying, savoring your breath. Savoring the shapes as they come to you. Beautiful. You arrive back to downward facing dog. Hug the navel up and in towards the spine. Allow your hips to float, lift up towards the ceiling. Slow breath out, exhale. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, open mouth, sigh, H-A. On an inhale, bend your knees, exhale, float, walk, hop up to the top of the mat, forward fold. Beautiful, very nice. On an inhale, half lift, lengthen. Exhale, release, HA, forward bend, look to your feet, hips with distance. On your next breath in, chair pose, bend your knees, sit your hips back. With ease, you tap into the strength of your legs. Lock the belly up and in without locking the breath in. So the breath is moving full and deep. Yeah. Maybe bring the biceps a little bit closer towards the ears. Feel the stretch of the fingers, the widening of the upper back. Take one more breath here. Sit a little bit lower. Reach up. Exhale, stand up. Inhale, reach up, look back, go back. Exhale, fold forward, forward bend. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, your hands down, step your feet back, pause in upper push-up plank position. We're gonna do one single push-up. If you'd like to come down onto your knees, you're welcome to, otherwise stay on your toes. Take a full inhale here, press the floor away, exhale, lower, hover halfway. Take an inhale here, exhale, press yourself all the way back up and then move through your vinyasa flow or straight back into downward facing dog. Once you get back and down dog and in breath, guide your right leg up. Exhale, right foot through between your hands. Feel your left heel down. Inhale, rise, warrior one. Pause and breathe in your warrior one. Take a breath here. On the exhale, open up warrior two. So bring your right arm forward, left arm back. So naturally the feet will start to move out, longer stance to accommodate the hips. Front knee stacks on top of front ankle, outer edge of back foot seals itself in towards the mat. See if you can slide your left thigh bone back a little bit to feel the engagement of the quad. The hips and the shoulders are nice and open towards the side. You feel this active reach across the chest from fingertip to fingertip. And look back towards the back arm. Be sure it's in line with the right. Nice, tall, proud heart. Maybe a soft, gentle gaze over your right fingers. You might even start to close your eyes just for a breath or two. Feeling the fullness of your inhalation and feeling how complete your exhalation is. Gently open your eyes if your eyes are closed. Full breath in. On an exhale, hands down, step back, and then move through your vinyasa. So you find your way back in downward facing dog. Slow breath out, exhale. Inhale, full and deep, big breath in. 
Exhale, open the mouth, side out, AK. Ah, your next breath guides your left leg up. Exhale, float your left foot through. Seal your right heel down. Inhale, rise, warrior one, pause. And as you find an exhale, open up, warrior two. And look to the front knee. If the front knee is bowing inwards, gently press it towards pinky toe side. Right, nice gentle press. Uh, see the tailbone can lengthen just a little further down and slide your tailbone down and slightly under. This will give you access to your low belly. Draw your low ribs in, very nice, Dinah. Take a full inhale here, deep breath, long spine, open heart. Exhale, hands down, step back. One breath, one movement. Warrior one, warrior two, right side, and then left side. And so a lot of times when we're moving, we always think about just like the larger part, the big lens, the legs, the arms. We wanna really also focus on the smaller things too because this is an entire practice. So every bit matters. Expression in your hands, your face, Relax the jaw, keep your face neutral. Very nice. Slow breath out, exhale wherever you are. <sighs> Inhale through the nose, to the belly. Exhale, open mouth, sigh, ha. Uh, bend your knees, look between your hands, come up to the top of the mat, find your forward fold. Place your feet, comfortable hips with distance. Inhale, half lift. Let your spine organize itself. Exhale, fold forward, forward bend. Your next breath in, chair pose. Plant firmly into the feet as you bend your knees, put your hips back as if there were a chair behind you. Close your eyes, relax the jaw as you soften the shoulders away from the ears. And where can you send your energy to? Right? Your legs, those adductor muscles pulling in to add to the support through the basement of the body. Feel yourself lifted from the waist up. Extended, arms back. You got it, Amit. Take a full inhale here, sit a little bit lower, reach up. Exhale, stand all the way up. Inhale, reach up, look back. Squeeze your seat. Exhale, fold forward, forward bend. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant your hands down, step your feet back, pause. Bring your big toes into touch, squeeze your inner thighs in. Bring your right hands directly underneath your nose and roll over into right side for sidearm plank. As you come to the outer edge of your right foot, you can stack your left foot on top of right. Start to lift your left hand up towards the sky. Now, for a wider base, you can stagger your feet or you can come down to bottom knee. You start to lift the top leg up, toe lock, beautiful, Madison, that's gorgeous. Bump your hips up towards the sky. Beautiful, Marika, beautiful, everyone. Take a full breath in. Exhale, left hand comes down. Reorganize the body, this time left hand underneath you and you roll over onto the left side. And you take what you need. Bottom knee, perhaps it supports you a little bit better, supports the breath, allows the breath to move a little freer. Otherwise, if you find that the strength, the power in your body allows for the freedom and movement of breath and you move into that, right? Take a full inhale. Exhale, left hand comes down, move through your vinyasa flow or come straight back into downward facing dog. And when you get to down dog, a <laughs> Drop the head a little side to side, back and forth, up and down. Your next breath in, right leg up. Exhale, right foot through. Feel your left heel down, inhale, rise, warrior one. Look up, exhale, open up, warrior two. So find expansion. Nice, long wingspan. Flip over, flip your right palm up towards the sky. Inhale, reach forward, exhale, up, 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 and then slightly back as you come into reverse warrior. See if you're taking your right knee with you. Make sure the right knee is on top of the right ankle. Very nice adjustment, make it very nice. And then you're breathing 
along your right side body. So it's, this is a side stretch, not a back bend. So the side stretch is, so the feeling is more up and over rather than just back, right? And you're breathing into the intercostal muscles, which expand and contract to help with breathing. So how, they're so important. Right? Take a full inhale here, sit a little bit deeper, reach up. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down, step back and flow it out. Once you get back into down dog, you'll meet in warrior two on the left side. So find your breath in, find your breath out. Leg up, leg forward. Warrior one on an inhale. And as you exhale, warrior two. Look over your left hand, flip your left palm up, inhale forward, reach it. Exhale, up, 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 and then slightly back, reverse warrior. So you can rotate the left pinky in and slightly up and imagine that your chin can fit right into your armpit. Try not to bend the elbow rather than break the energy. Yeah, there you go, Mana, straight up towards the sky. Sit low in the lunge, stay rooted in the front foot, especially the weight moving back, take a full inhale. Exhale, hands down, one breath, one movement, warrior one, warrior two, reverse warrior. And your one breath, one movement means breathing in a child's pose. Doesn't mean that your practice is any less. Child's pose is a place of respect for your practice. Vibrational breaths whenever you like. A ha or a hmm or a <laughs> During this time, we're just doing the best that we can. The best that we can. Inhale, bend your knees, down dog. Exhale, float, walk, hop to the top of the mat. Take your time wherever you are. Hips with distance between the feet. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, release, forward fold. Your next breath in, chair pose, bend your knees, sit your hips back, returning back to the chair. Eyes closed, lips soft, jaw released, relax. Feel the downward momentum of the heels. Feel your sits bones moving in the direction of your heels. Keep your belly hugging up and in the heart. Lift it tall and proud. Take a full inhale here. Sit a little bit deeper. Reach up. Exhale. Stand all the way up. Inhale. Reach up. Exhale. Fold forward. Inhale. Half lift. Exhale. Your hands down. Step your feet back. Pause and upper push up. Hands, wrists directly underneath the shoulders. Feet about hips with distance, or maybe you can bring your toes in a little closer towards one another. On an inhale, guide your left leg up, left toes up off the mat. Send your left heel behind you. Right. Keep stabilized, so even out the weight in the hand, spinal balance from plank. If you want to go a little bit further, you can start to lift your right arm up. Reach your right fingers forward while you simultaneously reach your left toes back. Beautiful one. Take, take a full inhale here. Exhale, everything comes back. Upper push up plank position. Take a deep breath in. Exhale through the mouth. A ha. Now guide your right toes up off the mat. Send your right heel towards the back wall. You can stay here, belly strong, arm strong. Or you can start to lift your left arm up. Reach your left fingers towards the front. Keep the softness in the face. Take a full inhale, beautiful Madison. Exhale, upper push up. Take a full inhale, exhale, go through your flow. Very nice work. Back and downward facing dog slowly. Exhale, empty a shh. 
Inhale, scrunch up your face up really, 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 really tight. Exhale, eyes wide, tongue out of. Ha! Your next breath, guide your right leg up and back. Exhale, this time right knee towards right elbow. Look over your right shoulder, float and hover. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, right knee, cross the body, tap your left elbow. Look over your left shoulder. Inhale, lengthen, reach back. Exhale, knee to nose and then float your foot all the way through between your hands. Keep your back heel lifted. Straighten your back leg. On an inhale, rise, high lunge, crescent. Your left thigh, your back thigh gets very strong. Start to think of opening up the back of the left thigh up towards the ceiling as you press your right thigh down. So press into your inner right heel, inner thighs pull in. Very nice, PK. Nice lift from behind the heart. Mountain pose from the waist up. Take a full breath here. Exhale, open up, warrior two. So feel your left heel down, reach your right arm forward, left arm back. So the broadness of the upper back, lengthen your spine. So we start to straighten your right leg, two straight legs. You can bring your feet in a little closer if you like. And just before you move into triangle, press out through the feet. Think, drawing your thigh bones up towards your hips. Take an inhale here, reach forward, exhale, right hand down, left hand up, triangle pose. So you're tilting your torso forward. Roll your left chest open, just eventually stack your left shoulder on top of right. Very nice group at Madison's place, it's awesome. Keep your heart lifted, press strongly through the feet as you send your hips way back. Strong moment here, take a full inhale, exhale, return back into warrior two. Return back into warrior two. Rebend your right knee. Flip your right palm up towards the sky. Inhale forward. Exhale up and back as you reverse your warrior. Open up your cross right side. Take a full inhale here. Exhale. Extended modified side angle. So right elbow lands on right thigh. Extend your left fingers forward. The diagonal. Feel it from your left fingertips all the way to the outer edge of your left foot. Utilize your obliques to keep your torso lifted, belly strong. And then if you want to, you can bring your right arm up in line with your left shoulder with distance apart, core strengthening. Roll the barrel of the body open. So open up your chest towards the side, all the way up towards the ceiling. Stay rooted in your feet. Very nice. Good work, everyone. Take a full inhale here. Exhale. Everything comes down. Hands come to frame the foot. Pause here. Lift your back heel up. On an inhale, reach your right hand up towards the sky as you revolve this twist in your low lunge. Roll your right shoulder open, right chest moves back, and press your left eye bone up towards the sky. Stay high on the ball of your left foot. Take a full inhale here. Draw the crown long. Exhale, right hand comes down. Step your right foot back and move through your vinyasa flow. Very nice work. Slow breath out, even slower breath in. Exhale, H-A. Your next breath guides your left leg up. Exhale, float your left foot through. Keep your right heel lifted. Oh, I forgot the knee to, <laughs> now you can do that, the knee to elbow. <laughs> you guys got, got it, thank you. For always keeping me honest here. I always forget the left side. Um, and then eventually coming into the high lunge crescent. You guys like, we want to work. Beautiful. So you feel into the front of your right side, right hip slightly forward, gentle squeeze of the right glute, left hip slightly back and down, wrap your lower ribs in, and that organization of the abdominal walls, lift, lift your heart. Take a full inhale here, exhale, open up, warrior two. Left arm forward, right arm back. You got it. Slowly straighten your left leg, two straight legs. Take a shorter stance if you like, and then triangle on the left side. So inhale, reach your left hand forward, bump that back, exhale, left hand down, right hand up. And so the left hand doesn't have to come all the way down to the ground, it can land on your shin, but just avoid the knee. Keep the navel strong and feel yourself pull long out of the waist. Feel your shoulders pull away from your ears and the crown moves forward. And think of the body leaning back in this position. Take a full breath here. 
Exhale, return back into warrior two. Rebend your left knee. Flip your left palm up, inhale forward, exhale up and back, reverse your warrior. Breathe along, left side body, full breath. As you exhale, left elbow to left thigh, extend your right fingers long towards the front wall. Wrap your right shoulder back as the left shoulder moves forward, barrel of the body opens towards the side wall. You can stay right here. Otherwise, you can bring your left arm up in line with the right shoulder with distance apart. Send your right chest back, left chest forward. Stay rooted in the feet. Take a full inhale. Exhale, hands come down. Pick up onto your right toes. With your right hand down, lift your left hand up towards the sky as you revolve this low lunge. Roll your left chest back. Keep your hips as level as you can. Right leg strong and straight. Take a full inhale. Exhale, left hand comes down. Step your left foot back and move through your vinyasa flow. Very nice work, very nice work. Slow breath out, exhale. Shh. Inhale, full and deep, big breath in. Exhale, open mouth, sigh, H-A. Ah. Inhale, bend your knees, exhale. Walk up to the top of the mat, find your forward fold, let yourself hang heavy. Ah, relax the jaw, flutter your lips up. Here you can interlace your fingers at your low back. You're welcome to draw the thread of your fingers up towards the sky, then one knee, opposite knee, look under the shoulder, open up the shoulders. Yeah. Wherever you are, slowly release your hands back down onto the mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, release. Now, start to lift your toes and slide your hands underneath your feet for gorilla pose. So as you slide your hands underneath the thumb face inwards, pinky face out, so you're stepping onto your palms. Bend your knees deeply so you can access this. Using the strength of your hands and arms, start to pull yourself under. This forward fold and the backs of thighs want some space. You can start to lift your sit bones up towards the ceiling and start to open, let the sit bones release. Drop the head heavy, chin towards chest. With each of your inhalations, you lengthen your spine. With each of your exhalations, you fold just a little bit deeper. Take an inhale here, mini half lift, glance forward. Exhale, release your hands from underneath your feet. Now, bring your feet in together, squeeze your inner thighs in. On your next breath in, Thunderbolt, bend your knees, sit your hips back, press your palms. Everything comes into this line. Right? You're welcome to cross your thumbs if you'd like. Keep the arms nice and straight and active. Feel your hands together. Feel your legs in as you sit your hips back. Take a full inhale here, reach tall, nice vana. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale your heart to your thumbs, long spine. Exhale, lean forward, twist to the Right hook, your left elbow across your right knee thigh. Now look to your knees. Your knees will tell you where your hips are. Right? If your left knee is jutting out, draw your left knee back in line with your right. Draw your left hip back. With each of your inhales, lengthen your spine. With each of your exhales, you twist. And you're welcome to take a flyaway, explore a bind by dropping the left arm down, right arm up. And you feel more of an opening across the chest, maybe a deeper feeling of a deeper twist. Take a full breath here. Exhale, come back to center. Inhale, heart to thumb, stick with it. Exhale, lean forward, twist to the left this time. Okay. The palms meet one another, keep your elbows wide, your shoulders soft away from the ears, your spine as long as you roll your left chest open and set the hips back just a little bit further. Fly away perhaps on this side, right arm down, left arm up. Gorgeous with ease of breath. Full breath in, exhale back to center. Inhale your heart to your thumbs. Exhale, fold forward, forward bend. Ha. Ah. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, your hands come down, step your feet back and move through your vinyasa flow. No push-ups, because you already did your push-ups. <laughs> 
Dragging down dog, slow breath out, exhale, empty. Let's take a breath together. Inhale, full, deep breath in. Fill chest, fill throat. Exhale, let it go. <sighs> Your next breath guides your right leg up. Your next breath out allows you to open up through the right side. Twirl through the toes maybe a little bit, ankle. And then when you're ready, half pigeon on the right side. So the right knee lands behind your right wrist. If it's not there, you just walk it up. And then slide your shin across the mat and bring your right foot in the direction of your left hand. The left knee comes down, send your left leg long and back behind you. Now, when you start to move into this position and right away the knees are protesting, doesn't like it, or there's pain, even a hint of it, please flip over onto your back to find a figure four. So figure four coming onto your back, taking your right ankle, crossing your right ankle over your left knee thigh, and then taking your hands and interlacing behind the left knee thigh. Then you can use your right elbow to move along your right thigh for the sensation that you need. Keep your right foot flexed. And then soften the back of the neck onto the ground. Right hip slightly back, left hip slightly forward. Slow breath in and out. Encouraging the breath just a little bit deeper each time. Deep breath, breathe in, and encouraging the breath to move out just a little bit further on the exhalation. What can you bring in on the inhalation? What can you push out on the exhalation? Wherever you are, slow breath out, exhale. Inhale through the nose, to the belly. Exhale, open mouth, side, J. Slowly press yourself up. Return back to down dog. And if movement is there for you, you can pedal out the feet a little bit, drop the head a little side to side. And then an inhale guides your left leg up and exhale, you allow your left hip to open, perhaps a little further than you did in the beginning of class. A little more, more. And then when you're ready, half pigeon on the left side. And the hip opener can mean figure four on this side. Just because you did half pigeon on the right doesn't mean you have to do it on the left. So you move and place your body according to how each side feels. You notice if the foot is a little further away from you and it's too intense on the left hip, you can bring your foot in closer towards you. Or if you're not feeling enough sensation, you can bring your foot further away from you so the shin becomes more parallel to the top of the mat. And then the hips are level relatively squared or squared to your degree as, as long as it feels that it is, then it is for you. And it's not about appearances here, it's about how it feels in your body. There's probably a lot of feelings floating around. Now that we're relatively stationary, being in our homes, as comfortable and as, as uh, familiar as our homes are, this whole situation is not familiar. But what is familiar is your breath. The way it moves in and the way it moves out. And you have an opportunity to visit it over and over again during the day, maybe even just taking a moment out just to notice how the breathing is. Slowly exhale. Inhale through the nose, to the belly, big breath in. Exhale, H-A. Let something go. And press yourself up. 
turn back to down dog. Down dog. Notice your hands, the width of your hands, the length of your arms, length of your spine, firmness of your own belly, the backs of your thighs, your heels. Inhale, shoulders on top of the wrists. Exhale, lower yourself all the way down. Bring your big toes into touch behind you. Squeeze your inner thighs in. Bring your arms alongside body, palms face down. Bring your forehead to the center of the mat. Press the head points into the mat. Exhale, slow breath out. <sighs> Inhale, slowly start to lift, 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 lift. Lift your arms back, spread your fingers wide. Squeeze your shoulder blades and feel your heart pull forward. Press your inner thighs in, send your toes back behind you. Maybe the big toes touch. Keep the breath moving. Keep your breath belly strong. Interlace your fingers behind you. Draw the knuckles towards the back wall. Wrap your arm bones back. Open up across the chest. Full breath in. Exhale on a full breath out. Lower yourself down. Bring one ear to the mat. Close your eyes. Feel your heartbeat against the mat. Feel your breath slow down. Then bring the opposite ear to the mat to even out the stretch in the neck. Relax your jaw, your facial features. And bring your hands underneath your shoulders, press yourself up to standing on your knees. And then eventually bring your legs out long in front of you. Come seated on your sit bones. Your legs out long, you can have your legs Long and straight, nice and active. So press the backs of the knees on the ground so much so that the heels actually lift up off the mat. Inhale, reach your fingers tall. Exhale, fold forward. As you start to come down and you notice your hamstrings are feeling a little bit tight. You know, mine are because of all the sitting that I'm doing or if my low, you know, low back is feeling kind of crunchy. You can bend your knees deeply and then wrap your opposite elbows underneath the knees. Wherever you are with each inhalation, feel the back of the heart open. And with each of your exhalations, feel the front of your heart soft and forward and down. See if you can take the tension from the temples between your brows, relax your jaw, your back teeth. Feeling the depth of your breath on the, on the inhalation and how complete your exhalations can be. Take a full inhale. Exhale, slowly roll yourself all the way back up. Find your way to the middle of the mat. Bend your knees deeply. Bring your feet in together. Squeeze your inner thighs in. And slowly start to rock back as you come into half boat. Coming into the Navasana and squeeze your inner thighs in. Maybe straighten the legs. The, the shins can come parallel to the top of the mat. Press your palms in towards one another. Old school here. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, twist over towards the right. Look over your right shoulder. Inhale, back to center. Lift. Exhale, over towards the left. Look over your left shoulder. Inhale, back to center. Heart lift, belly strong. Exhale, over towards the right. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, over towards the left. Inhale, back to center. Pause here. Close your eyes. Widen your reach. Spread your fingers wide. Close your eyes. Belly up and in. Keep the breath moving. Very nice. Dina, full. Close. Take a breath here. Bring your knees in towards your chest. Exhale, lower and lengthen. Pause here. Hover above the ground. One more inhale. Exhale, lower yourself all the way down. All the way down. Draw your knees in towards your chest. Wrap your arms around your knees. Give yourself a big squeeze. You can walk side to side a little bit if you'd like. And then release your feet onto the mat and bring your heels close in towards your glutes, arms alongside body, palms face down. We're gonna move into one set of bridge. So the feet are about hips width distance. So in your mind's eye, that hips width distance that you measured at the top of the mat and in downward facing dog. 
squeeze your glutes, press into your feet, lift your hips up towards the sky. You bring your chest towards your chin. Try not to look side to side ever. Keep pressing into your feet, your shins are pressed forward, your glutes squeeze to lift your hips up and you might even start to wrap your shoulder blades underneath you to press the back of the heart forward. You can interlace your fingers underneath you if you'd like, but press the pinky side parts of your hands onto the mat. Feel your heart open, feel your glutes strong, your belly, your front side body start to open. Take a full inhale. Exhale, lower yourself all the way down. Knees back and towards your chest, wrap your arms around your knees. Give yourself a big squeeze, 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 squeeze. Now bring your right knee in towards your right shoulder. Extend your left leg out long. Give it a nice hug, squeeze it in, then draw your right knee across the body. Right arm out straight, or you can cactus the right arm more for a shoulder stretch. Now the right knee doesn't have to touch the ground, it can float in the air. You can use your left hand and just place it on top of your right knee just for guidance. If your neck allows, look over your right shoulder. Beautiful. Take a breath in. Exhale, bring your right knee back in towards you, squeeze it in towards your right shoulder, and then extend your uh, right leg out long, bring your left knee in towards you and squeeze it in towards your right, your left arm hit, give it a nice squeeze, and then left knee across the body, left arm out, or right. you can cactus it for more of a shoulder opener. Allow gravity to help you here. So there's no pulling with your right hand. Soften the brow. Soft breath in and out. Take one more inhale. On the exhale, back to center. Draw your knees in towards your chest. Wrap your arms around your knees to give yourself a big squeeze, especially if you love the compression of your thighs onto your belly. Take a full inhale and on the exhale, open up, happy baby. Reach for your feet, grab for the outer edges. Yeah, yeah, rocking back and forth side to side, extend your legs out long if you'd like to or keep the knees bent, dead bug pose. Really press your hands into your feet and feel the pressure of your feet back into your hands, flutter your lips up. We're gonna take a line, press together, exhale slowly, empty out. Inhale through the nose, big breath and stretch up your face really, really, really tight. Exhale, eyes wide, Ha. This is the Vasana. So extend your legs out long and you can have your arms alongside body, hands by your hips, palms can face up, or you can have one hand on the heart, one hand on the belly. Take a moment, maybe even squeeze your face really tight and to relax your face and let the body just rest. Get very heavy in bones. Smooth breath in, smooth breath out. yourself rest. A few announcements before I read a quote and then class. Stay where you are. Let yourself be. Leave yourself alone. Um, just really grateful and thankful for each and every one of you here this evening um, or this night for some of you on the East Coast. Um, yoga to the People started 
as a donation-based studio and will continue to be a donation-based studio. So if you are in a position to donate, just hop onto the website, yogatothepeople.com slash donate. I also put the link in the chat box. Suggested is 12, but give what you can. Situation is different. This is a different platform. We appreciate your your dedication to coming and um, please spread the word. Talk about it. Tell your friends, bring your family. If you have any sort of feelings about teachers training, wanting to know a little bit more, I urge you to look online. We have some information there. We also have a Zoom open house on May 6th, which is, I think it's uh, Wednesday at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So that would be 11 here on the West Coast. But if you want to hang back and chat with me after, I'd love to chat with you about teacher's training. And tonight's quote is by Dee Antoinette Foy. The core of your true self is never lost. Let go of all the pretending and the becoming you've done just to belong. Curl up with your rawness and come home. You don't have to find yourself. You just have to let yourself in. One last time, exhale slowly. <sighs> Inhale through the nose, fill up. Exhale, open mouth, sigh, H-A. If you wanna stay in Savasana, you're welcome to stay. The way I start to wiggle your fingers, your toes, start to, Feel into your ankles, into your wrists, maybe making circles through your feet, circles through your hands, and then you know, rock the head a little side to side. And when you're ready, knees in towards your chest and roll over into either side, right or left, whichever you prefer. And then press yourself up, come to sitting, and I will unmute all of you. Maybe we can have some brief goodbyes, or if you have questions about TT, definitely hang back and I'd love to chat with you more. And Again, thank you so much for coming.